Hello and welcome to another card making video. In today's episode I would like to quickly show you a masking technique. Uh, when I made my first card I uh, made a mistake of going the wrong direction with the stamping and so that made the front cup look like it's floating in the air. I then covered it up with additional uh, coffee cups that I placed in front. Uh, but now I'm going to show you how to do the masking correctly. Uh, so if you want your coffee cup to be kind of in front and then followed by a, uh, other many uh, coffee cups standing behind it. So first you stamp your first image, you cut out the mask, uh, you stick it uh, covering up stamped image and you keep adding your additional coffee cups. Uh, making sure that every time you stamp uh, the mask is covering your previous image. So I stamped uh, the first two images uh, covering up the middle front image. I then place the mask on the coffee cup on the right, stamp over it and so on and so on. So at this point I decided I want more of these coffee cups, so uh, I didn't want just a V-shaped uh, rows of uh, the cups, but I wanted them to stand in the back. So I'm kind of uh, trying it out on the scrap paper, uh, how it would look like. And as you can see, you have to cover all three of the cups to stamp that fourth one at the back. And so I'm going to do the same thing on my card front. So I guess uh, the main difficulty about masking is perspective, which uh, I'm not, uh, you know, artistically trained or anything like that. So uh, I always have to try it out on the scrap paper to see how it looks like. Only after that, try it on the actual uh, card front to not uh, ruin my project. Another thing about masking is that you always have to remember when you stamp the image, uh, where you're stamping it and to remember to add masks all around that image so you don't stamp on the image underneath it or next to it. And now uh, all my masking is done, I'm gonna use my Stabilo pens to color the coffee cups in. I first decided to use uh, them with water, but after that uh, I changed my mind and used them directly on the cardstock. I'm using a thick watercolor cardstock, so uh, the Stabilo pens work beautifully and they blend really well without any water uh, as well. So I decided to speed it up uh, quite a lot. I hope you don't mind, uh, I mean you've seen me color with these pants quite a lot and I think you can still see uh, everything uh, pretty well. And for the future if you uh, could leave me a comment whether you like to see me coloring or not and in the next uh, videos I'm just gonna adjust to what you would like to see. Thanks! And here is the chart I made for my Stabil pants. I just wanted to, uh, you know, see what colors I have and how they work with and without water.
as you can see I decided to go with super crazy colors uh, I don't really know why but I kind of like those vibrant uh, Stabilo colors and then I decided that I need to kind of ground those cups uh, so I'm going in with some water and uh, a gray color to add the kind of a base to the cups mm, I'm sorry I, I went a little bit off the camera here but I guess you can uh, get the idea and later you can also see the pictures I took of the cards. I also decided to add a little bit of uh, sky um, I think I maybe should have added a little more vibrant blue because later on even in, in the pictures that I took with flash uh, this blue is barely visible so just a, a little note uh, if you're going with a bright blue make sure you do a double layer <laughs> to make it more visible So I've actually made three cards using, using this technique, that's how many mistakes I've made. Um, this one was the first try, uh, I don't really know what I was going for uh, here at first, but then I realized that it kind of looks like it's uh, the coffee cups are hidden in the sand, so that's what I went for here. So I created a, a kind of a beach effect at the bottom using my brown uh, color. So these are the three cards I've created, uh, these are just card fronts, um, I'm gonna quickly do the uh, card bases and add the sentiment on the top card, uh, which I'll pop on the banner from Bannerific by Lone Foam and add the sentiment from Hero Arts Stamps at Friends. And of course I couldn't help myself and I had to add the smileys on all of the coffee caps. Uh, here uh, I added the sentiment as already but it was crooked so that's when I <laughs> decided to put a banner on top and that completely hidden uh, the fact that uh, anything was stamped underneath so yeah just a tip for the future don't throw away your cards uh, when you make a mistake uh, instead think of a way to disguise your mistakes I really think these cute little smileys and faces added uh, to the card and that's when I thought of the sentiment everything is better with a friend because it looks like those coffee cups are friends and of course I couldn't help myself with the mustache I love that uh, cute little face and uh, so that was the second idea for the card and the uh, third one I added some coffee beans and I put those two coffee cups in front so you can see that the middle cup is floating so that was all for today's tutorial, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I gave you some ideas and helpful tips. And if you liked today's video, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, bye!